This will be the last video for this cake. They were the plastic dowels that I used in my earlier video. Sometimes I trip over my own words. Again, I love the cake. I don't know about everyone else, but sometimes I have a hard time letting my cakes go. But it is what it is. And I think this one came out real nice. Again, I emphasize I like the cluster of roses there with the feather. I'm so glad I bought that feather. feather. You can't imagine. I think that just sets that area off. It balances the larger feather and the small feathers down there. It just balances it. I'm not sure if that small mask in that corner is falling. I put one over here also. You can barely see them. All of my masks were made with a bat cookie cutter. And then I used the oval, the green oval from the Wilton flower making kit. And as you can see, I didn't waste anything because I used them for some more decorations. This one is going up and down because I was trying to hide a crack. Hey, listen, that's what it's all about. I think this indentation there, I believe I hit it when I put it into the refrigerator. And I just put some of these ovals on, teardrops, not ovals, to hide some areas that ripped when I was putting the fondant on. As I said in my earlier video, I'm learning that the darker the fondant, the harder it is to work with. I just love this cake. I'm just so proud of this cake. And I use the plastic dowels, and I put them four on each layer. Remember, my bottom layer, the 16-inch round, excuse me, square, what I did with that, I made four, that's eight, eight inch, that's eight, eight inch cakes. The chocolate cake with buttercream icing. Everything has buttercream icing. The next one is a white cake with lemon icing, red devil, excuse me, red velvet with buttercream, and the top is just a simple pound cake. But I actually made two in a six inch pan. I made two and I cut one to make it a little higher. I like the height. Um, yeah, I, I, I've made a large cake in the past, a large square, and I found that when I cut it, and in fact it was a 12-inch square, and when I cut it, I didn't like the consistency in the middle. I didn't think it was cooked well enough. So this time, and, ease, and also for ease of preparation, I mean, those large cakes are very difficult to work with. So, again, that's eight, excuse me, four, yeah, eight, eight-inch square cakes on the bottom. Then I trimmed them up, of course, and you know what I have in the freezer? Can't waste anything. I made the, uh, the cuttings into the cake ball, <laughs> which I will be doing soon, maybe today. I'm going to coat them in the chocolate because I'm going to a birthday party tomorrow for one of my grandsons. So I'm going to be working on his cake in a little bit. I thought I was real smart by preparing uh, all the dry ingredients for a cake. I was using the, um, the recipe that's on the King Arthur unbleached cake flour, and I put it all together in a bag. But I made two of them last night, and I felt that they didn't rise like they usually do. Now, I'm wondering if because I put the baking powder, is, does it... I mean, I sealed them up in containers, but does the baking powder somehow lose its uh, power? So anyway, I don't think I'm going to do that again. I'm not happy with the size of the cakes that I made, so I might throw together one of those, another one of those. And that will be for the car cake. Okay. I wish my voice were better, but I get up early in the morning and I start working on these things, these cakes. I can't sleep until I get them done. 
this one I think has been six months in the working, in the making. I think she's been planning this party for six months and asked me to do this. So, a lot of work, a lot of time, but I love doing it. It's a great hobby, constructing these cakes. So again, I use the plastic dowels, four on the bottom, four on the second tier, four on this tier, and then I put, um, I use barbecue skewers. I use the wooden skewers, and I put it down into, they fit, the 12-inch fit right directly into that, which was good. And then, for the top layer, instead of cutting them, because I, I don't like cutting things on the cake or taking them off, it always feels like I get some splinters. What I did is I put it down as far as I could, and I, another two or three, I put them down as far as I could, but I was able to keep maybe about this much of the skewer up, and then I just put the, and then I put the, um, this top on. I, no, you know what I did? I removed, this is what I'm thinking, I removed this cake, it was still cold and I didn't have a problem, from my cake board. So I put the cake board into place after these were all, the, the bottom three were secured. Then I put the cake plate, the cake board on, into place and I put my skewers in. I think I put two or three skewers, I must have put three. And then because I was able to take the cake board off the cake, like I said, the cake was cold. And then I reinserted the uh, cake right back onto the cake board. And that really worked out well. So now there's about, I think I put four skewers into the bottom three layers, tiers, and then I put the um, the two or three on the top tier. So that really worked out good. And I like these plastic dowels, as I said, because I just, um, I don't like cutting that the wood. I always feel like I get some splinters and that worries me. And um, so I like this system much better. Okay. I'm glad I did this. As I said, I did another. Here's the other banner that I made. But for some reason, I thought this one was more festive. So I put that on the cake. However, I am sending this along, along with this cake stand. And I'm sending her some glue and a paintbrush. And that's about it. Okay, listen. Have a great day. I'm going to be working on my next cake. And I hope you take the time to see what I'm doing. Okay. See you later. Thank you.